because I thought this was one side and I couldn't believe the price and that price has changed because mines were at plus 110. They're now at plus 100. They're hosting Stuttgart. Stuttgart at plus 290. Can't have Stuttgart on the road. Um, I think maybe goals are involved in this game. Alex, over two and a half goals is at minus 115. But just a straight don't complicate for the home side. After the good win last week against Frankfurt. Yeah, a great... Um... A great uh, disappointment from uh, from uh, Mainz uh, losing a free free two to uh, to Kell, yeah. but uh, as a home team they have uh, the fourth uh, home record uh, in the in the German Bundesliga this season, winning nine and losing just uh, twice over the course of the season in 14 uh, home games and only uh, allowing eight goals in the process. 28 goals scored, uh, two plus uh, on the average scored at home. I think that this is a, a one-way ticket, a home win for me. Nothing uh, to say about uh, the way that uh, Stuttgart uh, are playing on the road because they are awful this season on the road and they are awful this season as a team. And uh, Kev uh, talked about uh, their issues all season long and it seems like their issues are not getting solved uh, anytime soon. So uh, I don't expect uh, I don't expect Stuttgart, who are uh, still fighting for the uh, to escape relegation or just one point above the red zone. There, uh, I don't think that uh, they will put too much problems to Mainz on the road. Yeah, Kev, I see Mainz winning this game. I just don't know if I was confident enough to go with like the team total over because. They just got to get the job done. Now the money's coming from from plus one ten now to plus one hundred. If it keeps going, they're going to be minus one oh five. Yeah, my worry is about motivation here, because Mainz's hopes of qualifying for Europe pretty much went up in smoke in Cologne last week. It was a game that I commentated on. Mainz looked really good for an hour, and then the, the flick on by Modest Skiri changed the game, and then full crowds party atmosphere and Mainz rather fell apart and Stuttgart are desperate for the points and I actually think Stuttgart played pretty well in the last few weeks I think against Dortmund it's tricky they ran into a Dortmund team that played very well scored an early goal never really managed to get back into it and they missed Sasha Kalajic but Kalajic is expected to be back he had Covid but the feeling is that he will be back and I think that makes a massive difference so I'd actually, if I was going to approach this, I think I'd be more tempted to go with Mainz to score a couple of goals rather than to win the game. Because, I, you know, Stuttgart have come back well in games. I could see something like a 2-2, especially if Kalajic is in the team. So that would be, we're getting to that point of the season now where teams can no longer really achieve what they wanted to achieve. The main idea for Mainz was always to avoid relegation. They've done that with room to spare. And the team that really needs to win this is Stuttgart. So, what do you think uh, about the rumors uh, taking Kalajic uh, to Bayer? He's on Bayer's list uh, right now. Is that uh, good for Bayer? Do you think that uh, he can cope uh, with uh, uh, the pressure that is on his shoulders if he's going to the to the leaders and to the most important team in God, Germany? Sure, surely he should go to Leverkusen, shouldn't he? Well, I think he struggled to get past Patrick Schick, in truth. Uh, what, I think... you think he'll get past Lewandowski? No, but he would have to go there as a backup. Uh, and Up he would have backup. to know that. Uh, and But the thing you've got to bear in mind is that there's still a lot of talking to be done with Lewandowski because exactly. his contract expires at the end of the next season. It's going to be a lot of talk about whether Bayern can afford the kind of contract extension he would want to see out his career with the club. So I, I think this is probably, in truth a story Rumors. to try and spook Lewandowski's advisors. We had one the other week about Lewandowski going to Barcelona. I think that's a load of old rubbish. I don't think there's a contract sourced there at all. I think that's a lie. Uh, I think that was to put the Frighteners on Bayern, and this is to put the Frighteners on Lewandowski's people. So I think this is going to carry on. Uh, in terms of Kalajic, I think at a bigger club, a European club, I think he could do very well. I like him a lot. I think he's good on the deck. I think he's great in the air. I could see him going to Dortmund, maybe, because Holland's going to go. So I could see him being a good focal point for Dortmund, especially with the kind of quick players he would have around him. So I don't think he'll stay at Stuttgart beyond this summer. 
OK, let's have a little look at the official picks. I had mines last week and also the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, Johnny Lucky ended up 3-2. Uh, OK, mines money line at plus 100. As I say, it was plus 110. It's now moving against us. So it is plus 100. Don't complicate it. The home win. Um, let's hope Stuttgart just turn up and do what Stuttgart do and don't have one of them days. Listen, the Alex Classic could well be in play as well. And I suppose you're going to get around the plus 100, plus 105 for that as well. 